Oh, Devon, it's Gresh and Fourier here on WEEI. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm doing great. How about yourself? We're uh, hanging in there. Obviously, as you can understand, we're a little betwixt and between with a, a two and six team that you guys looked great last week against Buffalo, and then this week kind of not yeah. so much. So, uh, you know, how has the roller coaster ride been for you this year on the way to two and six? It's tough, you know. I can't sit up here and lie. It, 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 uh, it's been great. It's been tough. Uh, but just kind of taking that weekend, we got approach, you know, come to work each and every week, you know, buying in. Uh, each and every week I look at it like, you know, we got an opportunity to win the ball game. I never look at it going into a game that, you know, that, that we're going to lose. You know, I always have the mindset that we're going to win. Uh, you know, but it's been tough. You know, fall is a uh, tough division opponent yesterday. In Miami, I feel like we we I feel like we had the game. You know, we let the game slip away from us in all three phases. You know, offense, defense, and special teams. You know, but uh, you know that's what this lead is all about. I mean, get back on uh, today. You know, make the corrections and uh, get ready to play uh, a Washington team on Sunday. Yeah, is it is it fair to say that you guys like every single game needs to be treated like a playoff game to, in order just to keep yourselves like mathematically uh, in the hunt? I feel like that's. That's every team, though. I feel like I can't just say this the New England Patriots because every team is, at the end of the day, you're fighting to go and get to the postseason. You know, uh, you have uh, 17 weeks to prove that, and uh, you're fighting to get to the postseason. So I feel like every team taking that approach that it's a playoff game. But, you know, being, being two, and, 2 and 6, I can see where you're coming from saying every week is a playoff game. You know, uh, I definitely look at, you know, every week as an opportunity to get better and to put, you know, uh, to put this stuff on the field on Sunday, you know. So that's my approach to it, and I'm sure that's, that's all the other guys' approach. In the locker room also. Devon Godshaw, McGresh, and Fourier here on Boston and New England Sports Original. WEEI, it is a Patriots Monday. We are here at Gillette Stadium. And, uh, Devon, I know that uh, defensively it's a little bit of this and it's a little bit of that. How frustrating yep. has it been for you as a veteran who's been around and seen it done right and seen it done wrong for there still to be the occasional mistake here, mistake there, it's a different position group, and that you guys haven't been able to come together as a full unit of 11 consistently enough. Where is your level of frustration in everybody trying to get it right on your side of the ball? Well, you know, yesterday uh, I think when Sewell fumbled, when they fumbled the ball on the first play of the opening drive of the third quarter, you know, I – I looked on on the sideline. I told the defense, especially D line, like our margin for error is zero. You know, like we can't make mistakes because you know this is a a red hot offense. You know, uh, our offense is trying to do the best to put it in the end zone, and you know the, we just can't give an offense like Miami, you know, too many chances because those guys are you know those guys are very explosive. You know, we have a really good defense, but you know when when you give a when you give a team like Miami a bunch of opportunities, chances to pick it off, chances to you know get a sack on third and third and long. And you don't get it, you know. You just give those guys the opportunity to put it in the end zone because any at any play, any moment they can break it and they can, you know, they can score, you know, with all the weapons they have. So you know, like the frustration came from that yesterday. But you know, we stuck together as a team. You know, we finished the game. You know, uh, didn't get the results we wanted, but you know, we look forward to, you know, uh, uh, getting back on, getting back today, and getting back on Sunday against Washington and trying to improve our record to try to to try to, to, try to keep this thing alive. So we're talking to Devon Gotchow. Can you kind of like kind of give me the play by play of what happened at the end of the game? Uh, that's the Devon uh, Devonte Parker hits the defensive back from Miami. Yeah. It was like a little like Chris. I saw Christian Barmer yeah. over there. Uh, you know, uh, you know, yeah. trying to get in the middle. What was going guys, on? Yeah, I just think guys was a lot of frustration. You know, uh, Miami was frustrated that you know Juju hit uh, the the safety at the end of the game, and you know Devonte Parker, you know. I thought after I looked at it, you know, going home on a plane last night, I thought it should have been like because clearly the guy connected with the uh, helmet on Devontae Parker. But that's one of the things we can't control. The officials in the NFL, you know, have to control that. Uh, but I think just more frustration. You know, the, the Miami was frustrated that Juju, which was a legal hit. I, I talked to the ref during the, like during the during, after the play. He said they flagged Juju because of the like the, the stand over he did over the guy. Yeah. So. It wasn't even the hit that they flagged Juju on. So, I mean, I don't even know why those guys was that frustrated because uh, Devontae Parker hit looked way worse when you look at it in the slow motion. The guy actually hit him helmet to helmet. So, and then he then he, 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 uh, he mauled him into the ground and where his helmet hit the ground, you know. So, you know, we could have we easily 
came off the Patriot bench and you know started a started a whole fight, but but we did we handled it like true professionals. But at, at the end of the day, I mean, it was a lot of frustration. You know, we was losing. Those guys was mad because the juju hit. But I mean, at the end of the day, we you know, you know, at the, at the end of the game, nobody nobody had serious injuries and nobody you know nobody got in the fight. So it is what it is. Devon, you've been around the league long enough to know that the trade deadline is not like what it is in other sports. However, there is activity. Your record is what it is, uh, and not so much you individually, but you as a guy who is here and is signed and is one of the leaders on this defense. You know, How do you approach the next 30 hours or so in just terms of the nervousness or not knowing what, you know, but Bill Belichick is capable of anything, as I'm sure you are already aware of. So, you know, how much are heads on a swivel until you get through 4 or 5 o'clock tomorrow afternoon? I mean, it's a professional business. At the end of the day, this is what you signed up for. I mean, uh, anybody can be traded. So it's not so much of being nervous. You know, I, I go out there every week and try to put my best tape on film. You know, like, because this, this is a business. You know, like, you know, Bill knows it's a business. Each and everybody – who signed up to, to, to play or to coach this, this lead as a business. So, I mean, at the end of the day, you can't control that. You know, you, you let the people who, who who can control that control it. And you just do your job each and every day by coming to work, you know, showing up and doing the best you can and being the best you can each and every day. So you don't really worry about that. I, I, I know I'm not. You know, I'm not worried about trade or anything. You know, if it, whatever happens, whatever happens, you know. So you just you – just, Come to work each and every day and do your job. That's that's all that matters. So we're talking to Devon Gotchow and 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 um I guess like you know, on a lighter side, you know, like with so much, you know, uh bad news and you know, frustration, like how does a guy like Devon Gotchow kinda of chill out? What is what does Devon do like when he needs to like, you know, pick his feet up and just kind of relax? Like what is the what is the off field activity that you like to partake in? Uh just really just chill with the fam. I just had a daughter, so I mean uh just kind of getting back from the Miami yesterday. That's the, you know that really brings me joy. Just you know, seeing coming back, you know, seeing my fiance face, seeing my seeing my daughter face. You know, just kind of brings me joy after a tough a tough loss yesterday. You know, we can think, we can make a bunch of excuses and say, look, the ref called this call, he called that call. But at the end of the day, they made the calls. The calls are done. Nothing we can do about it. So we just move on from it. And like I said, we get ready for Washington. But just kind of just just kicking back, enjoying myself with the family, uh, just relaxing myself doing stuff like with the guys off the field, you know, because this lead, if you sit around and beat yourself up over every loss, you know, you'll be, you'll be miserable. You'll be miserable each and every day. So you kind of, I kind of learned that at an early age, you know, being in this lead as a rookie, having some veterans around me, you know, I was, I used to beat myself up and I still do sometimes to this day, beat myself up over, over losses, you know, things that I can't control. And, you know, if you do that, in this lead, it'll, it'll take a toll on you because this lead is up and down. You know, whether you're like Kansas City yesterday, they lost to Denver Broncos, and everybody, you know, been been talking bad about Denver for the last couple, couple of weeks. And and they go out and beat a great Kansas City team, you know, who everybody probably predicted to go to the Super Bowl. They go, they go out and beat them yesterday. This is a day in, day out lead. The minute you relax in this lead, it's the minute that you can be taken advantage of each and every week. So you have to come in this lead each and every week to prove yourself that you are that team, you are consistently. And yesterday we didn't we didn't do that, and uh, we got the results that that we got yesterday. You know, we lost to Miami by fourteen points. Uh, Damon, thank you for the uh, time today. This was great. You're welcome anytime, man. Yeah, this was uh, really good stuff. Yeah. Uh, keep uh, plugging away, and hopefully we uh, catch you down yeah. the road. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Appreciate there it. we go, Devon Godshaw. So I went to his Wikipedia real quick because this is going to be the follow up, but I know we're going to run out of time. And you mentioned some of the stuff for fun, and the photo of Devon Godshaw is apparently at a celebrity baseball game or something like that, and a six three, three hundred thirty pound man having on his follow through on a baseball swing. Jeez, oh, that bat looks like a toothpick. Sucking dingers out there at uh, some celebrity. And you're right, it totally, it looks tiny in his I, hands. I, I just like the way he says business. It's business. Business. It's just business. That's it's a, right. It's a, it's a business. Listen, business to business. There you go. And for those of you on Twitch who are uh, watching, twitch.tv slash Boston WEEI. Follow WEEI on Twitch. You can see the uh, Wikipedia of uh, Godshaw there uh, holding that bat like it is a toothpick.